everybody. I'm in a horribly lit room and I'm going to show you some of the things that I did for Christmas presents this year since a lot of people thought that uh, maybe I'd be cheaping out on what I'd be getting people, but I think there's some really cool stuff. So here's a few of them. When I was in Asheville, there was a craft store and they had uh, kits for making baskets. So I went ahead and bought one. And this one is a basket that I made. It's pretty nice. And then it had enough to make two of these, but I changed um, the pattern around and I made a bigger one. And so these two fit inside one another. So those are kind of cool. So this one is one of the gifts that I'm giving. Just want to show these baskets since they're all stained now. They uh, came out really well. This next item might be a little hard to tell what it is, but it's actually um, called a Jacob's Ladder. And it's a toy that does this. And uh, they're pretty cool. Um, you could do lots of neat things with it. And they're a lot of fun. And I don't know if you can tell very easily in the sliding. It looks like it's different colors for each block. It's actually the same piece of wood. It's just called canary wood and this is something I had in my shed. Um, so that it's pretty distinctive colors depending on what side they're on and it just happens to be you see dark light, dark light. So um, it's kind of cool. The only thing that this cost me since I already had the wood was the ribbon and a big spool with enough to make about three of these um, was uh, three dollars. These are some very sturdy spoons. Most of them match. They're not flexing at all, which is really nice. Pick those up at Goodwill. I had lots of uh, apple chips that I made from kinds that were that I picked up in Asheville. So that was a pretty good deal. And I have uh, four bags about this size. I also have seeds um, that I dehydrated and then, um, and then baked. And so these are pumpkin and squash seeds. And they're a little burnt, but that's okay because there was someone in my family who likes burnt food. I don't know, that's strange. I also have some non-burnt ones. And then I have lots of canned stuff. So this one is my salsa. This is banana pepper jam. A couple of those. And I've got apple butter. Lots of apple butter. I have two things of applesauce here. Big one and a little one. And I've got lots of um, jalapeno jelly. So I've got the medium and the hot ones uh, that are all going to be gifts for people. And the applesauce and the butter was made from $4 worth of apples. Um, or it's a portion of what was $4 worth of apples. And um, the jellies and the, the, the salsa was all made with some stuff from my garden. These are some cool candle holders from uh, Goodwill. And uh, I got a good deal on those too. Each of these things were from the, the dollar section of uh, Target when you first go in. So there's a yo-yo a and uh, finger puppets and a plane. Lots of fun stuff. Uh, this is a book that I picked up. It was on Amazon and it was used and it was uh, much discounted, which is very cool, but still in great shape. So that's pretty much it. Um, I had lots of presents for people, and I think that they're all going to like them. But uh, there's always things that you can do for gifts without spending a lot of money, and you can make things yourself if you have the right tools. I'll admit, I have a lot of tools. Um, but it's it's always fun to make that stuff, and it makes you feel a little like Santa, and uh, hopefully not too much like Santa's elves. So it's fun. Does he like being out? In the snow? Is that a good thing for him? He fell asleep almost oh. immediately. Oh my asleep. golly!
Wow. So, so How much snow you got? Um, you know, not a ton. Uh, six inches or so <laughs> on the ground. That shirt fit. That shirt feel, uh, fits good. Oh yeah, I like it. It's a nice one. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, honey. Look at. Oh my goodness. Uh huh. Daniel. <laughs> yeah, I gave you the family curse. <laughs> Didn't hit you until tonight. <laughs> that poor child. Look what's happened. Daddy doesn't know your name. <laughs> Maybe it's an age thing. Maybe you have to hit a certain number of years plus months, and then bam, you've got the family curse. <laughs>